Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox and today we're going to be playing Universe Sandbox. <laughs> My name is Spike Viper and that was not redundant at all. Alrighty, what are we gonna do today folks? What are we gonna do today? Instead what we're going to do is we're going to indirectly kill people because that is the best way. You can't do it directly because then they'll know. Quote me on that, I dare you. You'll look just as bad as me. So instead, we're going to destroy the Earth by destroying other things within close proximity, like answering the age-old question of what would happen if Mars was really close to Earth and then exploded? That, that's a very... This may actually cause some problems for Earth yeah, yeah, this is certainly going to- it's all like, uh, imagine like, extremely hot, like, Mount Vesuvius exploding, like, ash just falling on the earth and you run away from it, but the, the, the massive mass of gas, that was really rhyming there, that was pretty good, uh, is now smacking into earth, just like, molten particles, yum. Ooh, and they're doing a little bit of damage as well. Because they- there are some big bits there. Ooh! Earth is not looking very good after that one. Actually, the collisions are not that bad. Like, considering an entire planet just exploded next to Earth, Earth is actually do oh, that one's gonna be bad. Wait, is that actually going to strike? Ooh! That one is going to do a lot of damage when it actually hits it directly. This is, uh... That's, uh, it's a weird want, but, you know, it, it happens. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the Galactic Empire Super Laser and we'll just... Wait, did I miss? Oh, I did not. That certainly hit it. Wow. Okay, um, and now we can slow things down a bit and see what the fallout is. <laughs> can you imagine that? You just look into the sky, you see a massive laser hit the moon. This, this is some Sonic X plotline here. Okay, we gotta hit it a bit more. It doesn't seem to have done much. Excuse me! Um, moon? Alright. Is, is the moon just okay? Oh, 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 what is going on on the moon? There's like strange pixelation going on. I can see, like, rays bursting out of it. Uh... I don't know. It looks like the moon actually survived that. Okay. Then- Oh, wow! Look at- look at how instant that is. Imagine if you pointed a laser pointer at the moon and you just saw this. This is what you see in the sky, and this is in real time as well. Damn, that would be so scary. <laughs> look, look at it go. So the initial fastest moving stuff is starting to fly out, some of it towards the Earth, but this thicker, denser, and heavier material is the stuff you gotta worry about. Is any of this gonna actually hit the Earth though? Yes, that would be perfect. All right, so as you can see, we are actually succeeding in damaging the moon. Um, we are heating up the surface, but we're only heating up the surface. We aren't getting to the deeper layers of the moon and we aren't doing enough damage. To oh, wait, oh, oh, here it goes. We did it, we're starting to go real deep and now the entirety of the moon has hit the temperature at which it's able to uh, vaporize. So this is when it gets really scary being on Earth. Um, this slow and careful approach would actually be the worst approach because it's going to happen really slowly and it's going to allow it to dissipate all over Earth. Yikes! Oh! And you can see the moon, but this is 
it would just look like giant clouds in the middle of the air. Oh, look at that. It's leaving the lines as they graze by. It's like building new continents from all the dust falling into the ocean. Now that's interesting. Wow. For the most part, Earth is actually getting out of this lucky. Very lucky. There could have been much more serious damage. Imagine the amount of dust in the air, though. It'd be like Beijing times 20. Probably more than times 20. <laughs> now we have a ring! We've got, But we're not done yet. We haven't actually... I don't even think we really did that much damage to the moon. Oh, shoot. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I just want to look at the moon. How much mass we have. Wow. We, we didn't even get one thousandth of the moon's mass. We, we did literally zero damage, so that shows us that we need to think of things a little bit uh, larger scale. Alrighty. U.S. military part two. Oh no, the moon's running away. We gotta get it before it runs. <laughs> okay, let's do a hundred times the power we did before, and let's just try to get it pretty concentrated in one area so that area will just spew out vaporized matter. Now it's not doing it. We need more. Let's go ahead and increase the size. Oh, it's like a star in the sky. Look at it go. It's so bright. One of the things that would be nice is if the game actually put, like, a light component into things. Uh, the effect is bloom that you see here, but it's not an actual light. Would be not Actually, I don't think it is. We can test that really quickly. No, I'm 99% I'm sure it isn't. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not think it's an actual light. Um, so we can't, like, see it reflecting off of uh, the planet. But, look at that! Imagine if you saw that in the night sky. I would be pretty concerned. I'd wonder if Bomber got access to the universe. <laughs> the control panel for the universe. Okay, it's, it's, it's time. Come on. Wow, this is actually taking a lot of effort. I, I really did think that it would be easier to vaporize the moon, but I guess not. Why isn't it vaporizing? Do you even vape the moon? <laughs> Alrighty. Um, why, why is the moon just taking in infinite amounts of power and not caring about it? Yeah, I hit Earth with it, and then the entire planet freaking dies. But the moon... The moon is completely fine with the situation. What the heck, moon? You're supposed to, like, disappear into nothingness at this point. I'm really confused. Let's do a laser the size of the Milky Way. It just doesn't care. What? What? What on Earth? What is this doing? What? What? Uh... Uh, did I just turn Earth into a strobe light? Damn. There we go. Oh my god. What the actual heck is going on here? I I'm really confused. I'm 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 very concerned that the simulation is clearly not working properly. That is very odd. <laughs> why are we having so much trouble with a simple simulation? This is my channel, that's why. I don't know, that was pretty cool though. Alrighty, let's just Oh. Oh, that ruined the entire point. <laughs> Damn. 
Alrighty, uh, let's go ahead and throw this down. We're all talking about haircuts, but you do realize that like every haircuttery in the world is clo I didn't click twice. Maybe, did I break the game? Did I, did I break the game? Nothing is working. I'm really concerned. I, I made, okay, there we go. So weird. Let's, does the super laser destroy it? Please tell me it does. Okay, okay, it's now correct. Wow. Well, I, I guess we learned, kids, it's not what we set out to do, but this that's what happens when you set a laser to be the size of the Milky Way. I mean, very fun. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uploads are going to be more consistent. I moved and set up Spook Vooper, and the website's beautiful. You should go check it out, spookvooper.com, discord.gg slash spookvooper. It's, it's beautiful. So I'll see you all next time. Peace.